I want to highlight things that I find just as relevant today uh, as they were 1500 years, 1000 years ago. Things that we actually could learn from the past. The way I use runes in my music is I find them to be good images of man's relationship to nature, to each other and to something bigger than yourself. I have a really strong drive to contribute to showing people that they shouldn't uh, view our, our heritage and pass through the eyes of, of uh, Christian medieval monks. Very often it's, it's, the, it's the victors that dictate history. I started Valtruna because I needed to. When the reactions to the music started coming, people reacted quite strongly to it. So obviously there were more people than, than me who, who were also wanting there to be music like this. The word rune, rune, uh, the oldest form of the word means to make sound, basically, or it's related to sound. The word can mean uh, a letter, it can mean uh, knowledge, often of an esoteric um, art, wisdom, uh, it can mean a secret. The concept is basically I wanted to interpret these runes as much as possible on the wrong premises using relevant sounds, um, recording relevant places, dates. It becomes authentic the second uh, where it actually comes from somewhere, when it's not only words uh, or sounds, but the, the words have meaning and the sound have meaning and purpose. started out as a live concert, basically one concert. And afterwards we were booked to, to the Roadburn Festival in, in Tilburg and performed it there. And then we realized that we really wanted to, to display it to more people. So now we've recorded it and it's going to be released in March. It's very intense. It's very intense. You can imagine seven Wodruna uh, people on stage and, and five enslaved people uh, enslaved. That's bo both bands with quite massive soundscapes. The metal uh, movement in Norway, they moved some important barriers. I don't see it as a community. I see it more as a individual thing. I think Norway needed to be stirred up in terms of uh, religious freedom. Metal movement has always stood for going your own ways and, and being the goat rather than the sheep. The response we got last time we played with Wodruna in the Queen Elizabeth Hall in 2013, that was amazing. I think it's quite fun to, to sort of play with the rhetoric of, of returning Norsemen and <laughs> to, to the British shores. Uh, but we, we come with, uh, with our cultural um, artillery this time and, uh, and wish to trade.